If you're an independent content creator, then I need you to see this video. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison and today we're gonna do something a little different on the channel. This video is gonna be part rant, part review and part behind the scenes. And it's all gonna to tie together behind one very important product, something that we've recently started using here in our studios that I think everybody needs to know about. I am of course talking about the Rode Wireless Pro microphone set. Now, full disclosure, Rode did send me this mic set as well as a couple of others I'm gonna show you later uh, for free for the purposes of reviewing and using these products. However, this is not a sponsored video. Everything that you're about to hear is 100% my personal opinion and my experience along with Zeke and Chris who are gonna join me in this video here shortly. So here's the rant part. I am shocked at how many creators I see on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube who have these like really nice setups, right? Like they've got a boom with a blue microphone or Audio-Technica or Sennheiser or something coming in from out of frame. Clearly they've got that high-end gear flex going on, and yet they sound like absolute garbage. Oh. Actually, you know, they might start out sounding good, but what happens is as soon as they get loud or excited or boisterous, it's just a bunch of distortion, right? You see this a lot on Twitch with uh, gamers, right? They're playing their game, they get super excited, and then all of a sudden it's like, Michael, watch out! Just like ridiculous distortion blowing up your speakers. And if you're wearing headphones, it's a special kind of torture for your eardrums. Which is why I wanna tell you about the Rode Wireless Pro. They have solved a very specific problem for us and they can solve a very specific problem problem for a lot of folks. Let's take a look at what comes in the package and then we'll start talking about what they do and why what they do is so incredible. All right, so this is what comes in the Rode Wireless Go package once you unbox everything. And what I love about it is that it's got just about everything you could possibly need already built in. Rode doesn't force you to buy a bunch of accessories so that you can get what you really want. So you've got two cases here. We'll start with the one that houses the wireless transmitters and the wireless receiver. This is a charging case. Think like wireless earbuds. There's a battery built into the case. You charge that up and then anytime you put the wireless receiver or transmitters in this case, it charges them up. This case is also a sort of dock for the transmitters and receivers so that you can access them using your PC or Mac. In this other case are all of your accessories. Like I said, Rode includes just about everything that you need. Uh, you're gonna find two lavalier microphones. Sorry, it's a little bit messy in here. Two lavalier microphones. You're gonna get a selection of wind screens. These will connect directly to the lav microphone or to the transmitters themselves, if that's how you wanna go. Uh, there are clips for the transmitter so you can hook it on to your belt or your pants or whatever, but there are also magnetic clips so that you can hide these uh, behind your shirt or something like that. And all you'll see is just a, like a little magnet. Um, and then the cables that you need to connect this to the device that you're shooting with, whether that's a DSLR, iPhone, or Android, everything that you need is right here in this accessories case. So over the years, we have gone through a ton of different microphones, both wireless and wired. Ultimately, and I would say for like the last year or so, we had to resort to a wired lav microphone because for whatever reason, every wireless product that we use ended up having some kind of buzz or suffering from some kind of interference. We could use old school wireless uh, devices except for they used a wireless bandwidth that is technically not legal. When I showed up to the Super Bowl to cover the Super Bowl, we were banned from using a specific wireless mic setup because it didn't fit within the parameters of what was legal and there was concern that we could like cause some kind of interference. So we were already on the hunt for a new wireless microphone setup that would serve our needs. So when the Wireless Pro was announced and we saw the specs for this getup, we just knew we had to have it. 32-bit float audio basically gives you a huge range of flexibility. It eliminates the need for you to obsess over the input gain 
for your microphone. So yeah, you can still connect the receiver to your camera or phone and dial the input gain in so that it sounds good to you, but you don't have to. The idea behind 32-bit float audio is that you have this massive dynamic range to work with. So whether you speak very softly or you're screaming into the microphone, it doesn't really matter. It's going to catch that entire dynamic range without distorting and it's gonna give you full control once you go to put your audio and video together and mix everything down. 32-bit is also extremely high resolution in that it's got a lot of audio information to it so you're enabled to get great sound from something like 32-bit audio. And I gotta tell you, the first time that we heard the audio from one of our recordings that we shot here in the studio, we were blown away. And this was hearing the audio out of laptop speakers, right? We hadn't put in headphones or anything yet. We just played it back through laptop speakers and the difference was incredible. Like we all sat here just kind of shocked by what we were hearing. Now that 32 bit audio float is clutch. And I think it's one of the best things about this mic setup. However, there is a little bit of a catch with that. So the 32-bit float audio is not captured wirelessly. That is to say, whatever you're recording with, your iPhone, Android, your DSLR camera, that's not what's gonna catch the 32-bit audio. The 32-bit audio is actually captured by the transmitter itself. And both of the wireless transmitters in this pack have this on board. You can always have backup audio. As a matter of fact, you can get away with not recording audio on your camera itself if you want to. But for redundancy, you can record directly to the transmitter. It's got plenty of storage space. Uh, or you can record directly to your transmitter and to your camera so that you have options. But again, it's important to note that the 32-bit float audio is captured by the transmitter itself. So if you want that feature, you've got to use that audio. Uh, now, some of you might be thinking, well, isn't it gonna be kind of a pain to sync that audio with my video since they're not tied together? Uh, no, it's not because there is time coding on the audio that makes it a snap to line it up exactly with your video. So even though we do the clap thing, so you know we can make it easier to sync up the video and the audio, you don't have to because there's a time code for the audio built into what you're capturing by these transmitters. Now, if you're a videographer or producer, I'm sure you've had scenarios in which you stopped recording on your camera and then your talent said something amazing or something hilarious happened and you didn't capture that audio. Again, if you're recording directly to the transmitter, you don't lose anything. It'll always be on. And you don't have to worry about your talent turning the transmitter recording on or off. You can actually map a button on the receiver to trigger that onboard recording so that you are in control and you don't have to rely on your talent. Now, like I said before, you don't have to use the wired lav mic in conjunction with the receiver. There's a mic built into the receiver uh, itself. This has been a feature of Rode's wireless microphones in the past. And this mic sounds very good, but if you connect the wired lav to this thing, the fidelity is absolutely phenomenal. It's significantly better than the wireless Go 2 that we were using before. Another thing I like about this wired lav is that the windscreen that you put over it snaps into place and it's not likely to just fall off. We had that problem with the wireless Go 2 before this. Um, there is, however, one thing about this wire love of which I am not a fan, and that would be this little gold screw security terminal. This gold screw type security deal is not fixed, right? I can screw it right off as I've just done here, um, which causes a problem in that um, if you try to connect the jack to the receiver here, uh, if this thing is not screwed all the way back, uh, you're not gonna get a secured connection. What ends up happening is you have to hold this into place and then kind of move the transmitter around to get a secure connection. If this gold piece here um, is not flush against the back of the jack, you're not going to get a secure connection. Um, I'd rather this just have been fixed or just skip the whole screw terminal thing entirely. But you know what? That one little annoyance I'm able to overlook it because by and large, I absolutely love this rig. But what's it like for the folks on the other side of the camera, the producers, the editors? That's why I've brought in Zeke and Chris, 
who work with me every day and put up with me. Thank you, fellas, for doing that. Uh, to tell us a little bit about what it's like for you guys. And actually, we're gonna pass this thing around, so I'm gonna move. Uh, why don't you scooch in, Chris? It's all good. Yeah, man. So. Basically, uh, you know, Caleb touched a lot on the 32-bit float feature, which everybody loves, and I love myself, man. I think uh, the Rode Wireless Pro is is a significant upgrade from what we've used in the past. And uh, something that not everybody talks about, you know, aside from the 32-bit float, is the safety track feature. So it records in a stereo track, but on one track, you get the standard volume that you record at. On the right channel, it actually reduces the volume by quite a bit, so you have a nice little backup track, too. I think it's it's pretty solid to work with, honestly. Yeah, this absolutely came in clutch when I was shooting a wedding. And I think in terms of usability and ease of use, that's where it really shines because there was a situation where the bride and groom start giving their thank you speech to the crowd. And I'm still trying to get hooked up into a wired board with another recorder. And in order to make sure that I nailed it and got the bride and groom speech, I just go over to this road case and I pull it out and it starts recording automatically because I have my personal set set up to record as soon as you pull them out of the case. Um, I've also found that that is the best way to make sure your talent doesn't intentionally or accidentally start or stop a recording because when they're recording automatically, there is no stopping it once you pull it out of the case. If you do press the record button on the transmitter, it'll simply make a cut and start a new audio track. This setup just has you covered. It's got it's got your back. Um, it's really difficult to make a mistake or have an oops moment, um, which I think is just absolutely huge. But let me ask you guys this question, because I proposed at the beginning of this video, you know, that creators of all sorts might want to use this instead of their more expensive microphone on the boom with the, the Focusrite Scarlett or whatever. Um, but tell me what you think about that. Is this a reasonable substitute for something like that, given that a lot of people aren't setting that whole thing up and this is basically plug and play brainless, you're not gonna screw it up? So I think the biggest takeaway for me is the convenience of it. In comparison to a setup like that, you got a ton of cables, you got a ton of different wires and inputs to kind of you know, dial in and get everything in, in one, one place. When it comes to like a wireless system like this, man, it really is plug and play like you say. You just plug a mic in. You, I mean, that's optional too. <laughs> you don't even have to plug a live in. You plug a mic in, you press record, and it takes a lot of the, the guesswork out of it and you know, just smooth sailing from there. For real. <laughs> yeah, you know, part of the reason I wanted to bring you guys in was because uh, I feel like if I just sit here and talk about how wonderful this has made our lives on my own, right. it sounds a little bit more like a sales pitch than a review. But would you guys agree this has basically completely changed our production? Oh yeah, this is a no-brainer, man. I've been wanting, I've been waiting for Rode to upgrade the the wireless Go for a long time, and I think they really knocked it out of the park on this one, bro. Yeah, if you've been disappointed with the audio that you've been getting from your productions, whether you're a solo creator, whether you're out in the field, I can't recommend the Wireless Pro enough. Like this, this setup is worth every penny. Uh, don't tell Rode, but they could probably charge more for it. <laughs> um, I think the operation time is supposed to be about seven hours, but practically speaking, have you ever run out of battery while using these? I can't even think of how often I've charged them, to be quite honest. Right. Dude, that's <laughs> totally charging true. Charging case, right? Yeah, I haven't ever opened the case and looked at the receiver and seen less than like an 80% full right. bar. They just kind of go in the dock and they take care of themselves. And then, yeah, uh, we occasionally connect them to my laptop so I can shoot you the audio files after production. And they're, they're just always charging. You don't have to think about it. That's probably the best part of this. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate you stepping in and adding to the narrative. That was really super valuable. Yeah. So that's the Rode Wireless Pro review. If that's what you came here for, uh, you're welcome to take off if you want. This next section of the video is for fans of the channel because I have some exciting news to share that also has to do with Rode. These are the Rode NT5 microphones. And uh, you know, I'm familiar with this microphone from professional uh, music recording. I've got audio engineer friends of mine who like to use these as overhead mics on drum sets, uh, and they have lots of different practical uses as well. However, for us, these are going to help transform the way we do television reviews, soundbar reviews, and hi-fi audio reviews. Up until now, we haven't really had a good way of capturing 
audio here in our new studio. Uh, this is going to change that. So from here on out, I'm not just going to talk about how a TV sounds. I'm going to try to show you. I'm not just going to talk about how the soundbar sounds. I'm going to try and let you hear that. Uh, same with hi-fi audio equipment. Will it be possible for me to share with you the same experience that I'm having here? No, it will not. But this is gonna give us a baseline, right? This is gonna allow me to record all the audio equipment exactly the same way in a binaural setup with like an XY pattern uh, so that we can duplicate as best as we can the sound that we're getting in this room. And what that will allow us to do is give you sort of a reference point. So you can actually hear the difference between one sound bar and another, between one television and another, and between one set of speakers and another. I'm really excited to do this because I'm kind of tired of having to describe audio. I'd really like to let you hear it. That just hasn't been realistic until now. So that's kind of a little bit of an announcement for the channel, the Rode NT5. Um, I'm going to put them on this particular mount and I'm going to lock in the angle. We're gonna actually mark off the floor so that the microphone stand always goes in the same place. The microphones are always oriented in the same place everything is going to be normalized. We're going to have a standard for all of that so that the only thing that's different uh, is the audio source signal itself. So you only hear the difference in the audio. I'm really excited about that. And uh, I just want to say thanks to Rode for sending these along, uh, along with the Wireless Pro setup when we requested that. I think it's going to do great things for the channel. Anyway, that's the little behind the scenes here at Digital Trends. Thank you for hanging out with us today. L like I said, a little bit different kind of a video, but I, I thought it was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, do me a favor. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. And until then, here's two other videos I think you might like. Are you an independent content creator? <laughs>